Before the sun comes up, got out early this morning. So far, I've been through one bog, actually two bogs. I was able to keep my feet dry through the first one, but the second one is not going to happen. And I knew that was the case, so it's no big deal. But the reason why my trekking poles are out here, spider webs. About every five feet is another spider web going across the trail. There goes one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I will do an intro video here in a little bit. Once the sun comes up. So, as you can see, I changed my hat back yesterday. The sun baked my ears. And right now, although I've walked through several bogs, I don't know if you can see my feet, but they are covered with mud. Muddy shoes. But uh, <clears throat> now is, uh, oops, put that out of the way. Now is some board walking a little bit through this swampy area. So, possible goal for today is a marathon, 26 miles. If I can do a marathon, I make it into the town of Bristol and uh, get me a warm meal. If there's a hotel room there, possibly, no, back in the mud, possibly a warm bed, a shower. I'd certainly love to do some laundry, but uh, that might have to be a motel sink laundry if I get there. So we'll see how it goes. It's a uh, 10 mile road walk into town. Once you get to the road, that adds on to the 26, so it's really 16 miles to the road from where I was at. And then uh, 10 miles, maybe more, I don't know what the exact, exact miles are, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And I'll keep you updated, and I'm in a nice, dense, boggy forest here, with uh, trying to keep my feet on the, on the boards. <laughs> All right, good day so far. Looks like I'm going to get a little wet. All right, this is Bonnet Lake. Been a long time since I've seen a lake this big on this trail. Looks like it's pretty shallow, kind of like the lake in my backyard, but I'm going to actually get me some water from here. I'm running low. Heck yeah, little trail magic. Haven't had that in a long time. I can pour this uh, creek water out and get some real water, and I'm going to have an apple. Heck yeah. Excited. All right. Good balance time. See if we still got it. At least there's a cable to hold on to if you start to fall to the left. <laughs> All right. This one looks a little more challenging. This is broke. <laughs> I could go across over there, though. <laughs> Crazy.
right, nice little bridge crossing of another swamp here. I am about one mile from the road, I'm exactly one mile from the road, and uh, glad they built this nice bridge here. But from what I understand, there is a another swamp crossing with no bridge before you get to the road. So we'll see how that goes. But swampy swamp. Oh yeah, one more swamp to cross through before they let us get to the road. And it's a muddy one, so. Just to ensure that our feet get completely muddy. All right, almost done. Put this up before I drop it. All right, so it begins. Another long road walk. Here we go. Alrighty, change of plans. So I went into Bristol and the one motel they have there was full, no vacancies. So I had to walk an extra four and a half miles to get here to the airport motel in Bluntstown, which gives me a 30 mile day, first 30 ever. So I'm going to bed. Good night.